I shot this footage on Ben Nevis at the tail end of last season and I normally wait until later in the season to even start winter climbing when there's a little bit more light, there's better snow and better conditions generally. But this year we did have some early snow and some good days and so I went out for a couple of really good early season winter climbing days. Game on Ben Evis, just on the first pitch of hopefully a new route. We're about to climb this corner up here. I feel pretty weird getting up um, and starting in the dark this morning because I was bouldering in the dark on a project at Ruthven last night with the lights and to be back out on the bend and up at the ZSE hut before it was even light again just felt like way too early. First winter day out of the season. The bend looks pretty rhymed up. The bend gets really rhymed up on a northeasterly wind and it pushes the snow into the quarry. So everything's in good nick. That's why this corner is uh, a bit just lightly rhymed and doesn't normally get that. In order to climb well in Scottish mixed climbing, you have to be able to take the pitch one move at a time and find rests in order to regain your composure as you go along. It's really one very involved problem solving process. I always learn a lot from watching Ian climb. His methodical and very efficient style is almost perfectly suited to Scottish winter climbing. It did well. Super steep. Uh, it's yeah. a lot steeper than it kind of looks. I saw those. Uh... Yeah. Icicles hanging out, I thought maybe they'd been blown a bit extra by the wind, but you know, just vertical. So what's this mess? What's this mess down at the bags? Too smart, these ravens are the Yeah. Ravens have gone for the sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Not buried the rucksacks. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the most important part of I went to climb a day in the bend drinking tea in the hut? <laughs> so today I'm climbing in Glencoe on Stog Corrin and Beef. Just climbed a very hard pitch down there. As always, not sure what to do. Especially early season, like it's kind of earlier than I normally climb in the winter. Um, it's the 29th of December today. Um, but uh, we were going to try some other overhangs up there, but they're still a bit black. But um, this corner to this side of me is taken by a route called Isis 68. And then I noticed um, that there's another E2 being done by Andy Nelson and Steve Kennedy and um, several years ago uh, up the wall to the right of it I thought oh I wonder if we should take a look at that at first I did not think it was going to go <laughs> I traversed across the wall felt very very insecure and uh, there is an in situ peg runner from the summer ascent uh, so I clipped that I managed to clip that and I felt slightly happier to just be there um, and then it's kind of teetered up the wall but I kind of went up and down a wee bit trying to get more gear got a couple of terriers in but they were very poor um, but thankfully gradually every move that I went up the hooks kind of improved and uh, spurred me on to keep going but yeah as usual a bit of a fight so it's starting to snow slightly it's been a lovely morning starting to cloud over now and uh, I've got a nice corner above uh, for the next pitch which should be good fun by coincidence Andy Nelson who did the first summer ascent of the route happened to be walking past as we were climbing it and took a photo of us he sent it to us the next day and we invited him to come out with me and Helen for another winter route a few days later it's a bit of a brutal start to the day this it's isn't steep, it steep isn't it yeah, yeah. unrelenting <laughs>
As always, I started the pitch with no expectations. There was the impression of a crack to follow, but as it turned out, the crack was no good for hooks and I ended up using very, very thin hooks in just on edges or in some dirt and, and ice that was stuck to the wall. Therefore, it was kind of difficult to find anywhere to relax and I found myself getting quite tired quite quickly. I managed to reach this lump of turf which I hope would be a good respite and somewhere to find a really solid runner to enable me to continue safely. But as it turned out the turf was really really small and, and poor and uh, I was still a little bit insecure. I managed to place a nut just below it and I was just trying to find another one when my tool just ripped. This is something that you really want to avoid at all costs in Scottish winter climbing because normally the consequences of this happening would be really serious and therefore I'm normally extremely careful uh, with my hooks and um, give them a right good tug before actually pulling up on them. But in this pitch it seemed like every hook was pretty bad and I was having to change my normal standard of what I would pull on just to be able to make progress. I was really anxious to try and get at least one solid runner to make sure that I was safe if some hooks ripped in a similar fashion higher up but that wasn't really forthcoming and so I was kind of on edge as I was progressing and really for quite a long time I was having that conflict in my mind about whether it was really a good idea to keep going higher. I found just enough runners uh, to convince me to make a move up and a move up and a move up until I got closer and closer to uh, an easing of the difficulties once I reached a groove and from there the pitch started to unravel. But to be honest this pitch felt like a far more involved lead than I was expecting and took really quite a long time. <laughs> so today climbing in Glencoe, uh, just Okay! Just um, done the first pitch of a summer HVS called Rose Inominant. Oh, I had a really tough time. I wasn't feeling like I was climbing all that well today. I'm not honestly sure why. I just felt kind of tired before I even started. And I really struggled. I actually popped off a couple of times on thin hooks. Yeah, I wasn't climbing very well. I'm not very not very pleased with my effort, put it that way. But I still managed to uh, battle up the pitch. After I fell off, I came down to the ground a couple of times. Had a little bit of a rest, had a wee think about it, and then went back up. And then I did go for it, but I was not very happy moving, moving right. I uh, felt like the gear was just not that good. A little bit scary, to be honest. However, I'm here at the Beelay, which is nice, and I'm just bringing up Andy Nelson and Helen Renard um, and enjoying this lovely view down Glencoe, down to Balahulish. It's absolutely stunning. Next pitch looks a lot easier, thankfully. It's just as well because I've just taken hours to leave this one. <laughs> How did you find the route, Andy? Brilliant, yeah. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll let you decide the grade. But <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, route thin, a bit tenuous, not great gear. Yeah, um, yeah, well, that's definitely why, though. All the right ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Perhaps have a little word <laughs> on the ledge. Nice one, Helen. Oh wow, look at that light behind you. Yeah.